Let's play study. Oh, past the participle. What is this? <laughs> That's right. Sounds like we're learning English grammar. Verb. That's right. Okay, so V-E-R-B. That's a verb. Okay, uh, okay, let me give you some sample right here. What about go? Uh-huh. Go. What is the past form? Past form means like yesterday. Yesterday. That's right. So you gotta say like this. Went. Then the next one you study usually is gone. Okay, go, went, gone. Something like that. Do, did, done. Okay, what about run? Uh-huh. Run, ran, run. Okay. What about come? Okay. Come, came, come again. Things like that. Okay, speak, spoke, spoken. Freeze, froze, frozen. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let me ask you one question. Okay, so most people understand go, run, come, that present, or some uh, actually not, not a present. Okay, so actually this one is infinitive. But infinitive form is original form right here. Okay, what about the past? Oh, this one is a past form. Which is, everybody understand this one, okay, which is yesterday, last year, okay, this morning, things like that. Okay, oh, the third one right here. This is the problem right here, troublemaker. Okay, do you know what this is going to be used? Think about it. What are you going to do with this? Okay. Okay, now, I just give you a complete answer for this one, okay? Very simple. Only two different places. That's it. Okay, two. So one. That's right. Perfect. Perfect. Tense. Perfect tense. Oh, that's right. The formula. I'm going to give you a formula. Okay, looks like this one. Have plus this one, which is a PP. Past the participle. Okay. That's it. That means, okay, have means had, maybe had is possible. That's actually the same thing. That's a past perfect. Have PP is present perfect. Just like this. I came instead of a came. Came is past form, right? But you can use I have come. Aha. Uh -huh. Things like that. Okay, many people say I got it. Okay, actually, I have got it, right? Okay, so I have, but usually you say I've, I've, that's why. Okay, very hard to listen, okay? So I have got. Got means also you can use gotten, okay? So I have got it. Okay, that's one good sample. The next one is this, okay? Passive voice. Uh huh. Passive voice means like a, what? You just receive some action. That's it. Passive voice. Okay, sometimes uh, some people uh, uh, read this one just like this. It broke. Oh, sometimes, you know, you know, something was broken, then you say like it broke. Oh, actually, that's not right. Okay, so it is broken. In this case, this one, this, okay, like, like a glass or whatever. Okay, that cannot break something. It is broken because somebody else broke this one. Okay, that's why actually you should say I broke it or he broke, uh, uh, he broke or uh, somebody else, not that glass itself, okay? So that's why it is broken. Okay, in that case, okay, this one is not have, this one obviously be verb, okay? Be plus this one, PP. That means like I told you, only two different places. One is have plus PP. Have plus PP. The other one is be verb. Be means like M, is, are, was, were, you know what I mean? Things like that. They were be verbs, okay? Then plus PP. 
So how you call this one? So you must know this one. This one is perfect tense. Perfect. Just like this. Perfect tense. Remember this one today. For SAT, ACT, whatever test, okay? So you have to know these things, okay? Now B plus PP, which is, oh, that's right. Not active, passive. Passive voice. In a sentence, right? That's it.